We have enough meat. Back to the city. Ah. Noah, building his ship. We have him under surveillance. Is he dangerous? He's a fool. Fools are dangerous. They think differently. Ah, but he doesn't think. Some clever old god told him to build his ship there. Let's go and talk to him. Will it really happen, Shem? <laughs> I know. All this for what? But Japheth, we don't hear what God says. And Father has never been wrong. He believes it. I know. But for God to drown the whole world? Is that godlike? God is just. And he may still weep at what is required. There has always been time for repentance. But who has repented? How much time is left? Ask these questions of the Lord God. I do not know the answers. But if creation is corrupted, may not the Creator put an end to it? So we should not question the Lord God? Yes, question, shout and weep and scream as I have done. But obey when the answer is clear, even if it is not to your liking. We are alone, whatever happens. We have no friends here now. And perhaps no youngest brother. Ham has not come back. Is it today? But can Ham bring every wild beast from the forest to the ark? How? By magic? Look. Someone's coming. Noah! Noah! Have you no respect for your governor? I will have respect for him when he has respect for my God. You realize, Noah, what I could do to you? I know what you have done to many others. And I know what God will do to you. <laughs> oh, yes. The drowning, the black engulfing waters. Is it not possible that you could be mistaken? I am a man, yes. I could be mistaken. But God... No. Oh, of course. God speaks to you. And says... He says that you have brought destruction upon yourselves. That you are envious, murderous, adulterous, and cruel. And what do you say? I say nothing. I listen. Captain! Was that bravery or foolishness? It was simply the truth, Atara. And now look, we have no need to go to the city to fetch fire. You're right. He's not dangerous. Only a madman would dare to speak to me like that. I'll have him brought in. No, it's not worth it. But the women, huh? <laughs> Did you see them? <laughs> look, look. Jason, father! Father! Father, they came! Didn't I tell you, Ham? They came! I did nothing! Yesterday, the birds and insects and all the small creatures were difficult, unwilling! Yes! But these! <laughs> Look at them now! It is finished then? From tomorrow, the world will shrink to this wooden shell. The armor and me, and you three with your wives. Where are they? 
feeding the animals. And we'll water them. Ham? So, the world begins with us. By the grace of God. How did it start? I mean, at the very beginning. At the very beginning? There was nothing. Emptiness forever and ever. The earth was formless, featureless, unfinished. And then, the Spirit of God hovered over the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, and it was good. He divided the light from the darkness. One he called day, the other night. That was the end of the first day. Next, God divided the waters, those that were under the heavens, from those that were above. And that was the end of the second day. And then the stars appeared. Stars? No. Look! <laughs> oh, bring the light closer. They're afraid of the light. It's something else. The waters above the heavens. The Lord God has loosened them. Featureless as the water drops. Twenty days and still it rains. Cities slide under our keel. We are gliding above the highest mountain. If I understand the beginning, I may understand this ending. You stopped your story at the end of the second day. Had there been an eye to see it, 